Okay, what I would like to talk to you now about is some lathe safety. Uh, when we come over to a lathe, you should always make sure that the carriage hand wheel and the cross slide hand wheel can turn. If the power feed should ever be engaged, this would be locked. Um, and you don't ever want to turn the lathe on with the lathe top, with the, uh, the power feed engaged. So uh, always make sure that these two hand wheels can turn. Next, what we want to do is always spin the, the three-jaw chuck by hand. Um, if you notice here, it's only being grabbed by two jaws. It's the third jaw is not touching it, which means it's being in an oblong fashion. You would never want to turn on the lathe having um, it in this way. So what you always want to make sure then is to loosen it and make sure that all three jaws are grabbing it. Tighten this down. And now you're assured that all three jaws are, are grabbing it. Uh, since we are talking about tightening it, you would never also leave the chuck key in the lathe and walk away with it like that. If someone should ever come over and turn this on, this comes flying out and it ends up becoming a flying hazard. So always never take your hand off of that and take the chuck out. Uh, another aspect, make sure that your tool bit is locked down. This uh, quick change lock needs to be locked so your tool bit can't come out. If this was loose, then this would end up being coming a, a hazard as well. So make sure your tool bit is locked with the arm like that. Try not to have your stock sticking out too far. Uh, the rule of thumb is two fingers, which is around two inches. Uh, you can notice that this is sticking out way too far. There's just not enough support in the end being held by the three jaw chucks to have all that uh, pressure put on the, the stock of this length. So we try and, we try and bring the, the stock back so that it's only sticking out, like I said, around the, the two inches. And that, that gives it plenty of support so it has uh, not a chance of getting loose in that three-jaw chuck. 